Do you want to know how to easily influence people to see things through your lens? Well, hang in there because today we're going to give, I'm going to give you four simple, super easy uh, steps on how you can influence prospects to your side. <laughs> hey there, Isai Rodriguez coming at you with more tips, tricks, and advice so that you can get the most out of your network marketing business. So as you're hopping on, if you could, if you would, drop me some love, drop me a like, hit that heart button. Let me know that you're out there, that you're, um, you know, where, that you're alive, where on this beautiful planet that you're tuning in from. Share some love and I'll be sure to return the love back. So first of all, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, how are you, Gabby? Haven't seen you pop on here in a bit. Uh, as you're dropping in, you know, thank you for, uh, spending some time with me. Um, and we're going to go over these four tips pretty quickly here. Um, cause, cause they're really simple when you think about it. And, and that's, that's the thing. A lot of times, uh, we overcomplicate what, you know, what, what we're trying to accomplish here. And so when we're building, you know, relationships with our prospects, um, like again, we're yeah. We have to think of ourselves as essentially professional uh, conversation starters. You know what I mean? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, yeah. So we we have to uh, consider ourselves conversation starters because realistically, when when you're trying to uh, get to know someone, the only real way that, that that's going to happen is through conversation. So there's, there's a couple of things that we can do, uh, through our conversations to essentially, uh, solidify, uh, your connections with people. And so let's get right into it. The first thing is, again, this is so simple. Let them talk. People love to talk. No matter what they say, they love to talk. Not only that, not only that, but you know, uh, People love to talk about themselves. So let them do that. Like, let them talk about themselves. Let them give you the information that it is that you need. And that way, um, you know, they, they essentially help you to close them in the future. You know what I mean? Like, if, if that makes sense. So as, as you're talking to them, as they're giving you this information about them, you can, you can dial into the certain, you know, to the things that it is that you want to dial into so that you can essentially steer the conversation to where it is that you want it to go. And, you, you know, essentially they, they provide you with the, like, like we say, the ammunition to essentially close them in the, in the future. You know what I mean? As that relationship progresses. So let them talk, let them tell you what they're going through. Let them explain to you how their life is going, what they're up to, what are they struggling with? What, what are their goals? What are their ambitions? Just let them talk. Let them, let them think of yourself as like a therapist. You know what I mean? Like talk therapy, you ask questions and you let them talk. You let them answer. Cause these answers, like what they do, like what, how they answer these questions, uh, as, as you're getting to know them, Again, you're going to use this to uncover like their deeper desires. And that right there is when you're able to, you know, use their desires and steer the conversation to where it is you want it to be. You know what I mean? So number two um, is basically that move the conversation to your prospects problem. So once you find these um, these little things that that essentially trigger emotion in your, in your prospects, steer the conversation towards that. Find out more. Like, what is it, um, like, like that motivates and like their problems? Cause, cause at the end of the day, problems are awesome. Problems are beautiful. It's a, because, because people's problems, that's what motivates them. You know what I mean? Like, like if you had, um, if you had no problems in your, in your life, would you be motivated to whatever, to go to the store and, and buy food to eat if you didn't have that problem of 
like, damn, I have to eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, think about that. And that might be a little uh, oversimplified. But the point is, is that problems, when they become big enough, when you, when they really hurt, when they really sting, like problems are essentially motivators. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, move the conversation to those problems and let them, again, let them talk about their problems. Number three, keep the conversations on the problems that we can fix. So sometimes, you know, the conversation might veer off a little into a direction that, you know, that <laughs> had no man's land or, or whatever, if you, if you want, you know, if you will, but try and keep the conversation, uh, focused into a direction that you can provide value to. You know what I mean? Like, so if you know someone is struggling uh, with losing weight or whatever, and you, again, you uh, provide a solution for weight loss, try and steer the conversation in that direction. Now, don't, don't, don't uh, like, don't outwardly blurt out like, hey, you know, um, like when you're talking to someone and, and they come in, like, like for instance, here's a, here's a great example where I was talking to somebody just uh, over the weekend and, you know, we we're just kind of catching up and I just mentioned like, hey, uh, and this, like, he has no idea that, that I'm in network marketing or that, you know, whatever I'm doing, but we were just talking and he mentioned like casually in conversation, like, hey, you know, I mentioned like, hey, so do you have any, um, like any new year resolutions. Cause obviously we just hit the new year's. Everybody has resolutions that they, you know, that they're working towards. And so his response was, yeah, you know, I was thinking like, I'm hoping to lose some weight. So I dug in, I was like, Oh yeah, me too. You know, with the, you know, with all the holidays and all the food and the wine and the pie and this and that, like I kind of let myself go and I, you know, I put on some weight. So I was steering the conversation to that whole weight loss thing, but I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't pitched them or anything like that, but I have made a mental note. So that's a little side thing, like steer the conversation to, uh, to those problems, because the more you dig into those problems, the more they're going to realize like, damn, I have a serious problem. I need a solution. And that's the fourth point. Really dig in to these problems. Ask the right questions. Steer that conversation. So questions like, um, uh, actually, I have a few here. So, and then what happened? You know, like questions like that. How, how frustrating is that? Or really? Like, how did that make you feel? Like genuine questions like that that kind of steer the conversation from or not, not necessarily steer the conversation, but, uh, I guess hyper focus the conversation on that feeling, that problem, that burning desire. Like, like, so when, when you, when you start digging in again, that, that brings up the pain in your prospects, um, uh, in their mind, you know, and, and again, the more pain they feel, the more motivated they're going to be for a solution. And then at when the time is right, that's, that's kind of like a judgment call. Me generally, like, again, going back to my example where I spoke to my friend and he was telling me that he wants to lose weight and, you know, I'm, I'm most likely going to, uh, you know, follow up in about a day or two and I may casually throw it in there and be like, Hey, you know, like you mentioned that you were looking to lose X, Y, and Z, um, you know, amount of weight. Like, how's that going? You know, do you have a plan? Like, where are you going from here? You know, and I'm, I'm going to, I may start, I'm going to pick up that conversation and continue the conversation and hopefully at some point drop in that I may have a solution for him. And that's the key right there. You want to build that relationship, get to the point, uh, steer the conversation to their problems, dig in, really find out what it is that, that hurts, that, that, that gets them going. And, and then finally you provide the solution. And when you provide that solution at that point, they're going to be in a more receptive, more, uh, you know, they're going to be in a different frame of mind. Like 
They're going to be aware that they have this uh, a problem and they're going to be like, yeah, that solution will definitely help my problem. So that's about all I have for today. Um, you know, once, once you, again, once you find these core motivators within your prospects and you really find out and you dial in to what motivates them, what pain points they have, then is when, you know, pitching or closing or whatever you want to call it, offering your solution, whether it's a product, whether it's your business, uh, that's when it becomes, you know, it, it essentially comes easy because you're hitting them right at the point where they're most aware of their, uh, of, of their problem. You know what I mean? So again, I hope you found value in this. If you did drop me a big old thumbs up, uh, hit that hard button. Let me know that you found value in this. Drop me a hashtag value in the comments, share this with whoever it is that you feel needs to hear this message. Let's get the message out there. Let's pay it forward. And if you're looking for more advanced training, like, you know, lead generation, capture pages, things of that nature, reach out to me because I have just the resource for you, but I need to know what it is that you're struggling with or what it is you need help understanding um, so that we can get you the help that you need. Also, for uh, just for a limited time, <laughs> I uh, have a few spots available on my team that recently opened up. I'm kind of always looking for people to join the team, but I'm looking for people um, to work closely with. If that's you, if you're, if you have leadership qualities, if you have a burning desire within you to, to change your life, to, to take this new year and run with it, you know, let's do it. Let's get you on the road to success. Reach out to me. Let me know what your goals are and let's see what we can do. Let's make magic happen, people. Until the next video, take care now. Bye.